Well, my husband and I, Mark, uh, we've been with Matt for now, I think, close to eight, nine years. I've always loved horses, and uh, Matt had a horse that he thought would be a good prospect uh, for the futurity. So um, we ended up buying our first horse, uh, but then it snowballed. Janice and Mark Dixon, the owners of Stony, they um, they came to Matt and I, and they said, you know, we really want to uh, get involved in the age events, and so. Um, they asked Matt and I to start kind of scouting out, looking for a prospect for them. Uh, Karen, his wife, had seen a horse uh, in Texas uh, at Brent Lowski's ranch. And so next thing I knew, we were flying out to Texas to see uh, this horse that Brent had uh, raised and, and started. We were super excited, so I started, I was on Facebook actually, and I saw a post that uh, Brett Lowski had put up, and it was uh, Stoney, uh, his two-year-old year, and uh, Mark Dixon, he's like, loves buckskins. So I thought, oh my God, this horse is so beautiful. I just loved the way he moved. He had a really uh, level top line, and he looked like he was fast-footed. And so I said, Matt, you have to check this horse out. So we went to Brent Lowski's. He rode him around for us. We really liked him. And then Matt rode him. And I mean, we just, we all were like, oh my God, we have to have this horse. And that was kind of the, the beginning, beginning of, of today. We just uh, have been on this ride with Stoney and uh, it's just been a great one. We've enjoyed every minute, well, almost every minute of it. His three-year-old year, year uh, Matt made the Open Futurity Finals on him, and which is always like so exciting. And then from there, um, you know, they wanted to continue on and do all the aged events with him. So Matt showed him his whole derby year and um, had a lot of success on him. Stoney is one of those horses that everybody wants to have in their barn. He's just a steady, steady horse that he's good every time he goes in the arena. And this is a game of emotions. You know, it's such a mental game. Training and reining horses, kind of a lot like golf. You know, we're all pretty good at what we do, but your mental, you know, your mental games that, you know, it's here and then it's down here, and it depends on the horses you're riding. If you have a horse that just doesn't want to, you know, doesn't want to behave, it's tough, or doesn't step up when you go compete, you start, you know, after a while, it starts to wear on you. And Stoney's one of those horses that, you know, you feel yourself starting to kind of get in one of those slumps. It's nice to see a show coming up where you get to bring that horse. Anytime I load him on the trailer, I know something good is going to happen. And we're not going to win every time. Nobody can win every single time they go in the arena. But I know I'm going to have a good ride every time I go in the arena on that horse. So for me, it's huge. That trickles down into all my other horses. It helps my day, you know, training every day. When I ride him, I can start trying to model other horses after him. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you spend so much time with these guys, more than people really that, you know, I don't want to say like he's a friend, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bond there with a, with a horse that, you know, nobody else has. And, you know, again, Knowing how many of these horses don't have what it takes, the ones that do, they, they become special. And you know, and for me personally, I, I you know, I only have a, a handful of them that I would I would say are in that club, and Stoney's one of them. <laughs>